From Must Be Nice, this is Day by Day, the podcast series of stories inspired by our new normal. Roommates, more often than not, are friendly acquaintances you happen to share a roof with. That dynamic has changed over the last few months, for better or worse, forcing roommates to learn how to adapt to each other as quarantine has dragged on. The same can be said about the two leads in today's episode, two roommates with two different ways of life, getting to know each other for the very first time. Written by Alexis Dean, starring Lucy Hale and Hero Finds Tiffin, co-starring Una Roche and Gabriella Bloomgarden, this is Big Nights In. That night was crazy. It was so good. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. I okay, love you. I can't wait to see you soon. Sam, did you... I just got this email from work. Work from home. Yeah. COVID lockdown. It's insane. I read it's officially a pandemic. But what? Things like that happen fast. I thought it was just a cold. I know they locked down in China, but like... Last night I was literally at Paul's baby grand and now we have to stay in? I know. It's crazy, but... We really have to stay in. Like, really, like, let's not go anywhere or see anyone, because I know you like to go out. No, totally. I totally agree. It's... It's scary, actually. It's not that scary. We just have to be careful. Anyway, I'm work from home, too, so I'm going to go to my room. You can have the living room. Oh. Uh, okay, thanks. Did you call me earlier? Yeah, I did. I was driving out to the Hamptons. Oh, cool. You're gonna quarantine out there? Yeah. I mean, my parents have a place. I wish we were at the Blonde, though. Me too. Totally. This is so weird. I went to Papaya Dog, and there's, like, no one around. Papaya Dog is an essential business. It definitely is to me. (laughs) Yeah. Do you think you can get COVID from a hot dog? I don't know. Hope not. Anyway, I wish my parents' summer house was a drive away. Huh. I guess I didn't think of people in Indiana as having summer houses. I'm from Ohio. And yeah, there are cities other places, so there's, um, country other places. So yeah, people have city houses and country houses there, too. (laughs) Duh. That was dumb of me. I'm just, like, such a New Yorker, I guess. You knew I was from Ohio, right? Definitely. Quarantine brain, sorry. Okay, well, I should go. My dad is grilling. Uh Uh-huh. Bye. Yeah, yeah, on me, on me. You man, on me, on me. Sam? Come. Oh, you're never back here. Yeah, you man, the hair, the hair. (sighs) Shoot, shoot, shoot. Must be late enough to go to bed, right? people who aren't at bars go to bed at 9.30, right? You've been in there forever. Yeah, I'm just doing my hair. I'll be out soon. You're working from home. You still need to do your face and hair. Well, I read online that you should keep your routines during quarantine. Plus, I'll probably have Zoom calls for work. And with my friends. You don't need makeup to Zoom with your friends. Unless you think they won't recognize you without it. Ha ha. 
I get it. My friendships are shallow. And that's rich coming from the person who only socializes on Discord. At least I actually have conversations on Discord. While playing video games? And we can still hear each other better than at one of your nightclubs. I mean, have you ever even seen your friends in daylight? Are you all vampires? That's ridiculous, Sam. I am standing here in broad daylight and I haven't disintegrated. I am obviously not a vampire. <sighs> Fair enough. Plus, I hang out with him in the day all the time, you know, for like brunch and stuff. Ah, oh, yes, brunch. The nightclub of daytime hangs. Exactly. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it because I'd hate it. Look, just because my best friend thought I was from Indiana. What? You said you're from Ohio. You remember that? Anyway, looks like I'll be living your cloistered nerd lifestyle for the foreseeable, so that should thrill you. That I can't pursue my sinful ways. I don't care about sin. It just seems sad to do shallow stuff all the time. Right, cool. Just so we're clear on why you disapprove of how I live my life. Ugh, I have to get to work. Day three. Day three. Well, um... Have a good day, I guess. Thanks. I can't believe we've been inside for a week. I know, it's crazy. Huh, okay. 29 days, COVID free. Yep, go us. Well, lucky you, I skipped the full face and hair today. Sensible, quarantine chic. Yeah. Hey, weren't you wearing that yesterday? Yeah. That's so kind of you to notice. What? I just don't have that many sweatpants. Not much of a lounger, I guess. Always out on the town. Yeah. But not having anywhere to go has given me a newfound love for the old elastic waistband. You should order from my friend. He has a startup loungewear company. All his marketing right now is about pandemic workwear. You know, business on the top half, relaxation on the bottom. <sighs> the new normal. You know, at least a mullet has business in the front, but party in the back. The party is somewhere with a mullet. Hi, Lainey. Hey. Hi, Darcy. Hi. Welcome to the hottest club in town. The only club in town. I watered down my vodka soda for realism. This is such a fun idea. Let me play some music. Woo! How was your day? What? I, I said, how was your day? I mean, fine, I guess. This shit is so weird. You know, shouting over the music kind of makes my throat hurt. Will you turn it down or off? What did you do today? Mm, just a bunch of Zoom calls. I'm seeing my coworkers way more than I did in the office. It's so draining. Is that because of seeing them or because of Zoom? Do you need that many meetings to, um... Mm, I'm a paralegal? Totally, I just didn't know actually like what that means you do all day. Stuff I don't need Zoom calls to do. Reviewing documents and stuff. But are you doing okay? I mean, this shit is hard. Yeah, I'm fine. No symptoms. Yeah, I feel fine and my family's around so I actually feel kind of crazy busy. Right, right. Actually, I have to go. My brother wants to watch Love is Blind with me. Isn't he sort of young for that? He's 11. Whoa, I thought he was like five. Do you have a brother? Yeah, I do. Look, I have to go. What will these hot singles decide? All right, see you guys later. Or not see you. <laughs> All right. Hey, I thought you were going to be Zooming with your friends in here. We already did. That was quick. Well, I guess we didn't have that much to say to each other. Look, you might be right and my friendships are fake. I never said that. Right, you just said you'd hate my life. Ah, uh, right. Sorry. What the hell are you watching? I was going to start Love is Blind. That show is real. I thought it was an SNL sketch. Oh, it is real. You know, you can sit down if you want. You don't have to hover in the doorway. I just came out for some snacks, all right? Do they really just sit in pods? I think we're looking at the future of dating. Hey, it's COVID safe. Okay, I'll watch for a bit. You want a pumple moose? 
Oh my god, are you sharing your precious grapefruit LaCroix with me? Wow. <laughs> Just this once. I'm really rooting for Mark and Jessica. Are you kidding? No. No, she's so not into him. Have some hope. <laughs> you want some coffee? I'm gonna start the machine. Oh, yes, that would be amazing. Okay, guys, I would say that I have to go, but there's nowhere for any of us to go, so I will just awkwardly say that I think it's time to end this call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Ugh. I heard that. I can't believe you found a way to get off a phone call right now. You made embracing the awkward feel smooth. I'm still crinkling the Doritos bag next to my headset to fake a bad connection. On a video call? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're clocking on to the fact I'm leaning out of frame every time I have a bad connection. Sounds like you're done for the day too. More love is blind? <gasps> you're addicted. But yes, I am in. Also, um, how are you doing? You seem kind of down talking to your friends last night. What friends? I... You're the one who told me I don't have real friendships. Oof, I was kidding, teasing you. Oh, I wasn't supposed to have feelings about you telling me I have no real friends? Well, when you put it like that, I sound like a real dick, but obviously you have friends, like a zillion. Some friends? My friends don't even know that Cleveland has rich people too. That's what you're indignant about? No. I just mean they don't know anything about me. Like that your family is Midwest rich? My friends are just all from New York. It's kind of a local mindset. Yeah, well, I've spent half of my life in New York now, so unfortunately, I do know what you mean. I'm more of the Dan Humphrey breed, though. The embedded observer of the beast rather than one of them. The grizzly man of the Upper East Side. What, my Yankee sheets didn't tip you off? Well, I've never been in your room. This is a New York apartment. My bed is my room. <laughs> we really don't know each other at all, do we? It seems sensible to just be, like, polite acquaintances with my roommate. But now we're all the other has in the world. Ugh, when you put it that way. <laughs> you can jump, but a fall from the second floor would hardly kill you. Why don't you tell me all the things your friends didn't know about you? Okay. I am from Ohio, not Indiana. Flyover country. Got it. I actually knew that about you, though. Because of my Buckeye sheets? No, because I asked you when you came to see the apartment. And I remember information about human beings I'm spending time with. Actually... There was a bunch of stuff I didn't know about them either. I forgot Darcy was a paralegal. You didn't know your friend's job? I can tell you her entire sexual history since I've known her. I was about to dismiss that, but honestly, that's way more interesting than life at a law firm. I should know. Oh, that's right. You work at, um, White and Case. You remembered? Eh, figured you wouldn't be late with the rent. Plus, I always remember when a cute guy is a lawyer. You took the apartment because you thought I was cute. Easy there, cowboy. I just figured you'd be bait for other cute guys. What? We flock together? I thought so. But you are a nerd and you have no friends. I have friends, but we live in New York. And in New York, you can only fit one friend in a living room, so I meet them outside the apartment. Like a normal. Exactly. But now we're stuck here and we can't be normal. Tell me more. Like, not to be a dick, but I don't actually remember what you do. I always assumed it was PR. Because of my club kid lifestyle? It's okay. You're mostly right. I do communications, but for an international policy think tank. Hmm. That's cool. I know. I majored in international relations. But I also just like going to clubs. What do you miss about going out? You'd love it if I said nothing, right? That life in quarantine with you has taught me what things have real meaning in life. I'm curious about the appeal of it. Well, okay. <laughs> there was this crazy night that Josh got loaned a car for a Porsche promotion. That does sound fun. Yeah. <laughs> Except he wasn't allowed to take it out of the city and we had to be like really careful on the road. So mostly we, um, we just took pics of us in and on it. But oh my gosh, it was so cool. Get a lot of likes. And that's the drill. You post a thirst trap. And we all hate seeing the pics, but we comment, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So when it's our turn, people will too. Okay, you want all the people who aren't with you to die of FOMO. At least during pandemic, there's no FOMO. Right, there's no foe to mo. Right. Hmm. I'm not convincing you, am I? Not exactly. I guess what I miss, it's the 
things used to happen to me. Non-apocalyptic things. What things? I don't know. I'd go out and I would make out with someone on the dance floor and then I'd actually have something to talk about with Lainey and Darcy the next day. You usually kiss someone on the dance floor? I mean, I guess so. It doesn't mean much, but it's fun. How do you get to know someone in a place where you can't talk? Well, you don't have to know someone that well to make out with them. Oh, gross. You are judging me. Hateration is forbidden in all danceries. But seriously, you can't believe that some things are unspoken or just about attraction in the moment? Never underestimate the importance of body language. Are you quoting Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid? Yes. Huh. You know, you're on the dance floor and you aren't really thinking about life because it sucks and also it's too loud for thinking. Yeah, yeah, that is what's so great. Yeah, you're not thinking about how much it sucks being in a club. No, about how life sucks. Life sucks. You didn't notice? But before this, your life sucked. Just in the way that the daily grind is super boring. You should think about making some changes. So you've said. But why change the club part if that's where I can feel happy and free, where when the right song comes on, you feel like nothing else matters? It's good to feel like nothing matters? Yes! You should try it sometime. I never thought how nihilist this all was. You also don't seem to have thought about how you're arguing with me that kissing isn't fun. <laughs> Fair enough. What you were saying last night? I know what you mean. I can't deal with being alone with my thoughts this much. None of us can. Some people just avoid it more successfully than others. So now you see why I do what I do. You have to keep moving. If you get tired, your thoughts catch up and they will tackle you. Sounds healthy. You never take a shortcut? No, I love rules. I can tell. But this, there's just one big rule, stay inside. But the rest of it is just big melting time I have to make decisions about. It sucks. But we all have to face that stuff sometime. Even me. And I know what I do to avoid it is kind of extreme. Actually, I kind of went full bore like this when I moved to New York after college and my engagement broke up. Engagement? In college? That's like child bride status in this day and age. I know. I stayed with my high school boyfriend through college. Okay, I saw that once. But as it happens, you are correct to judge me. Us. We got out of college and I couldn't shake the idea that I was missing stuff. So eventually I called it off. And tried to make up for lost time? Something like that. And I felt guilty for, you know, ruining his life. And I wanted to drown the grief and uncertainty. It was the best reason for going to bars. As always, you are the picture of emotional health. You want coffee? Oh, bless you. Day 95. Whoa. That's crazy. You all right? I'm fine. You aren't? Look, I don't want to tell you because at this point I shouldn't even be surprised or hurt. You've been telling me, but... Lainey texted me happy birthday. Wait, what? Ha but it isn't your birthday in October? Yeah. How does she even pick a random day in July and get the idea that it's my birthday? I can't believe you remembered that, though. You're a Libra. And the fact that I remembered your zodiac sign, but your brunch-having aura reading zodiac tattoo-having friends didn't... Oh, stop! <laughs> oh, you're making it worse. Sorry, I'm sorry. Bring you a coffee to make it up to you? Yes. Love that. You know, when we're both in the kitchen, it reminds me of the end of Working Girl, you know, where Harrison Ford and Melanie Griffith are rushing to get ready for work in their tiny New York apartment kitchen. <laughs> I've never seen Working Girl. What? Oh, it's amazing. The only difference is they get to go out the front door once their coffees are made. We should watch it tonight. I've got all of this popcorn. Whoa. Wow, that day. It's a lot of popcorn. Yeah, I tried to order five bags, but it was actually five ten-packs classic Instacart mishap. Actually... Lainey also said that she's back in the city. She's getting people together at her place. Like a party? Uh-huh. No. I thought we could go. I'm not going to a party. We agreed we'd take this seriously. Two months ago. It's July. 
Plus, cases are down. Cases are way down because people didn't go to any house parties. Plus, this girl forgot your birthday and you want to risk your life to see her and my life. The party's for me. Or, I mean, no, not really, but she was like, happy birthday, we should party, and it's safe. Safe according to who? Safe because you just really want to go? This can't go on forever. We can't just ever do anything forever. Promise me you won't go. We can't even really isolate separately here. Ugh. Fine. Fine. I promise. Thank you. We'll do something fun tonight. Deal. Hey, movie time, and I, for one, am excited to hear your discourse on Melanie Griffith's 80s haircut. Sweet! Toss me pomplemousse. <gasps> We're out. No! No! Ugh, it's my turn for a supply run. Man, it's almost normal out here. Danny's bar is open? Told you, I couldn't come. Oh man, Josh is gonna be there. No, 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 I promised myself I wouldn't go. And? Not bad, Sam. Maya, is that you? She should be back by now, but there's no way she's gone to that party. <sighs> Shit. Oh, hey. Hey, sorry that took so long. Nowhere had LaCroix. I had to get a literal grapefruit and some polar seltzer. What's this? I knew you were sad you couldn't go out, so I wanted to throw you some kind of party for your not birthday today. You have a disco ball? It's from college. Here? Aww, you got my usual exactly right. You even used an old lime wedge that's been sitting out all night. Thank you. You're welcome. Dance with me. This is romantic. And don't worry, we'll leave Catholic middle school dance levels of room between us. <laughs> this is nice. You know, they never play slow jams. Well, they do at Club Sam. Like Sam's Club? Walmart does not own this joint. I wish they did play slow songs, actually. So you admit our living room has something over the club? Please do not ever say the club. Yeah, you got it. Whoa, whoa. We're roommates. Oh my god, shit. Shit, sorry. I old habits from my days at the club oh god i ruined it you're fine you're fine I, I wasn't making a move i was just trying to do something you'd like because you've been taking a page from me the nerdy rule follower but that's really nice have you never had a friend do something really nice for you honestly no not ages oh well, milady, let this usher in a new era of chivalry. Oh, my God, nerd. <laughs> I love it, though. But I should put you out of your misery. We can start that movie now. With 50 bags of popcorn to get through. After all, better get started. I actually worked so hard on the playlist. You want to keep dancing? This is the part where I stun you with my moves. The thing I always say is that it doesn't matter whether a guy can dance, just whether he will dance. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a dance machine. It's a pandemic miracle. Well then, we turn the music on? I thought you'd never ask. Hi, I'm Lucy Hale. Child Rescue Coalition is a nonprofit organization that rescues children from sexual abuse by building technology for law enforcement free of charge to track, arrest, and prosecute child predators. So far, using their technology, police have rescued over 2,500 children from exploitation and abuse. They've arrested over 12,000 dangerous predators across the globe and have prevented the abuse of over 600,000 children. 
Their work is made possible from generous individuals like you. To donate and learn more, go to childrescuecoalition.org. Day by Day is created and produced by myself, Adam Faze, and Jamie Dolan, with sound mixing design by Beckett Cerny. This episode featured an original score by Alex Mansour. Additional character voicing was provided by Daphne Gampel and Becca Weinzimmer. Special thanks to Michelle Broadus, Jamie, Mila, Gary, Kate, and the Initiative Group for helping this episode come together. Stay tuned next week for an all-new episode of Day by Day. Until then, stay safe.